Hello ladies and gents, Big Cammy 007 here. Now, I managed to pick up Mortal Kombat 1, I've been playing it as of recent. It's a lot of fun, I highly recommend it for those that have not picked this up. Now I got to thinking, since this game takes place after the events of Mortal Kombat 11, what if, and follow me on this, this game got the Pokemon treatment? Now you're probably asking, Big Cammy, how can you talk about a subject like this? But the question you should ask yourself is, how can I not talk about a subject like this? Okay, you know what? I think I may have read the script wrong. Can I, can I get a do-over, please? You're probably asking, Big Cammy, what are you talking about? Even though this game takes place in an alternate and reborn Mortal Kombat universe, it still takes place after the events of Mortal Kombat 11. More specifically, Mortal Kombat 11's Aftermath DLC. Now, just to be clear, this video will have spoilers for both Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath as well as Mortal Kombat 1. So this will be your first, last, and only spoiler warning. But with that out of the way, let's get started. Cease before you do us all. I thought your duties required you stay behind. A lie. Something you know well. I see now. The hourglass showed that only I could wield the crown against Kronika successfully. You let me win. And to ensure victory, you sacrifice the lives of your friends. <laughs> How deliciously cold-blooded. They are not gone, Shang Tsung. They will live again in my new era. Your new era? You underestimate my prowess, Chosen One. I have the crown. I have absorbed Kronika's power. You may have attained godhood, but I am the keeper of time. You are no match for me. Kronika said much the same, Shang Tsung. You will share her fate. In the final story battle for Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath, you get to choose who you get to play as. You can choose to play as Fire God Liu Kang or Shang Tsung. And the ending is different depending on who you side with. Make no mistake, Shang Tsung. You have chosen this fate. Timelines will be twisted by your evil.
Kung Lao. Where did you... Who... Who are you? I am Lord Liu Kang. God of thunder and fire. God of... Forgive my disrespect, my lord. Enough, Kung Lao. You are humble. Not like the Kung Lao I knew. The Kung Lao you knew? A story for another time. I have chosen you as my champion, Kung Lao. We have work to do. You must be prepared. Trained. Trained? For what? yours is mine forever Realm and Order Realm are next. All realms will soon yield to your influence. <laughs> it has begun. And this is the cutscene in Mortal Kombat 1 that proves that those two endings in Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath are canon. <laughs> Speak of the devil, Liu Kang. Meet Damashi. Damashi? You are the victim of deception, sorcerer. Oh my dude, you just got pranked! You're not Damashi. You're me. More correctly, you. Are me. A poor facsimile, anyway. Made lesser by Liu Kang's meddling. What's happening here? Who is he? This Chang Song is whom I battled for the hourglass. I thought him dead. As I did you, Liu Kang. It turns out our battle released mammoth energies which ripped apart time's fabric. The fight had two conclusions. In one, I was the victor. In the other, it was you. And so because of that, I figured, what if they gave Mortal Kombat 1 the Pokemon treatment? As in, they would make this particular version of Mortal Kombat 1 the Liu Kang edition, and they would make another one that was Shang Tsung edition. Like, this one would be focused on Liu Kang's new era, and the other would be focused on Shang Tsung's. Now, here's what I see would be the difference between those two. Now, here's how I would see it. Both versions would have the same story, however, they would be told from different perspectives and from different timelines. The Liu Kang version will focus primarily on Liu Kang's new era, while the Shang Tsung version will focus primarily on Shang Tsung's new era. 
Both will have the same arcade modes or towers if you prefer, but they will have different final bosses. For the Liu Kang version, the final boss would be the Deadly Alliance, Quan Chi and Shang Tsung. For the Shang Tsung version, the final boss would be the Fire God and his Chosen One, Liu Kang and Raiden. And the roster would be different as well. The Liu Kang version, the roster would be geared more towards heroes than villains. While the Shang Tsung version, the roster would be geared more towards villains than heroes. And seeing how Shang Tsung is the pre-order character for this game, it would make sense for Shang Tsung to be the pre-order character for the Liu Kang version, and Liu Kang to be the pre-order character in the Shang Tsung version. Other than that, they have the same invasion mode, and they will have the same DLC characters. And, just to sweeten the deal a bit, what if we given these two versions of the game the Oracle's duology treatment? Anyone that has ever played Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons would know of the whole Link playthrough. If you manage to beat one version, you can carry that data over to the other and continue playing and unlock that game's true final boss. Well, what if we've given the same treatment to Mortal Kombat 1? Let's say you beat the Liu Kang version. You can then carry that data over to the Shang Tsung version and continue playing on that way so you can unlock the last story and true ending that way. So that way, the story of Mortal Kombat 1 can be tied up in a neat little Christmas bow. So what do you think about this idea? Please let me know in the comments down below, and if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and please click the bell for notifications, it really means a lot to me. And I highly recommend you pick up this game, Mortal Kombat 1. It is such a bunch of fun to play. Anyway, this is BKM007, and I'll see y'all next time. So until then, ta-ta!